Hi friends, I'm Sushma. Welcome to Happy Learning YouTube channel. Today friends, we'll discuss the summary of The Frogs. A very famous play written by the ancient Greek playwright Aristophanes. Now what happens in the story is Dionysus, who is the god of wine and theatre, he is very sad, he is very disgusted that the quality of Greek plays, especially the tragedies, are coming down. Why? Because three great masters, three great playwrights, Aeschylus, Euripides and Sophocles, they are dead. So he decides that he will go to the place of dead, Hades, to bring back Euripides, who is his favorite playwright. So with him, he takes his slave called Xianthius. Now this Dionysus, he is dressed like Hercules. Hercules is his stepbrother. His half brother. You see that he is dressed like him. He is wearing the lion skin and also he holds a club like Hercules. So what does Dionysus do? He goes to Hercules' house to ask the directions of Hades. Now what is this Hades? Greek believe that after dying people will go to Hades. It is a world of dead people. Now Hercules, he went to Hades to bring Cerberus. Cerberus is the watchdog of uh, Hades. You can see here, he is a watchdog. Actually, according to Greek mythology, he, it was believed that he had three heads. He is a very ferocious dog. So Hercules was given a task and the last task was to bring Cerberus. So this Dionysus, he goes there and he asks the direction or a reliable path of hates. So Hercules is unable to start laughing. He's, as soon as he sees Dionysus, he starts laughing. He is unable to control. So when Dionysus asks him how to go to hates, he tells that it is very simple. You can hang yourself and in 5 minutes you will be in hates. Or drink poison. In 2 minutes you will be in hates. Okay, or else you jump from the tower, from a very long uh, tower, you will die and you will go to Hades. So he says, I don't want to die. Okay, just tell me the path, I will go and bring Euripides. So he decides that he will go by the path of Lake Echeron. And there, when he is travelling, Xianthius is... Uh, uh, not supposed to go on the boat. Why? Because he is a slave. And he has to walk through around this Echeron lake. And he has to wait uh, for Dionysus on the banks. So when he is uh, sailing on this uh, Echeron lake, he sings, he listens to the song of the frogs. Frogs, they are the chorus of the play. They are the first chorus, Epinomus. On them itself, Aristophanes named the uh, play. Now, frogs, the song irritates so much to Dionysus that uh, he is just irritated, he is disgusted by that sound. And uh, in the middle of the song, he starts debating with the frogs. Now, one more thing, frogs here, they represent uh, nothing new to tell. The same thing they tell. It is like modern or contemporary Greek playwrights. Nothing new to say and whatever they say, it irritates the audience. That also it shows. So after travelling on Lake Echeron, there he meets Xianthius who is waiting for him on the bank. And uh, one thing we come to know that Xianthius is more smarter, is more intelligent and is more brave than Dionysus. So he starts teasing him. See, well, like I was going, you know, I saw Epusa. I saw Epusa, he says. Epusa uh, is a monster. He says, to tease him. So, after all this teasing thing, they go to a very bright field. And there, they meet the second chorus. The second chorus is uh, made of spirits of uh, Maesti. Maesti. Okay. Then. 
the chorus what the, what it does after like singing the chorus song it shows the direction of pluto's house now who's pluto pluto is the head or the king of the hades so there they go now uh, when they knock on pluto's door they meet aqs aqs is a porter or servant of pluto and aqs as soon as he sees dionysus he thinks that hercules is come and he becomes so angry and he starts scolding to him and he says that if one more minute he stays here he will live many monsters and he'll see that he will be killed so dionysus is so scared by his warning that what he does he exchanges his clothes with xanthus a very uh, comedy thing happens here after exchange of clothes a maid comes un kelsol bartale banbuto what she does thinking that xanthus is hercules she invites him to a feast to a party with virgin who are dancing it's a dancing party of virgins and she thinks that hercules or xanthus is hercules and he invites so what this dionysus does soon after she going again he exchanges clothes so what happens when they are going to the party there he meets so many angry people angry people they are angry not on dionysus they are angry on hercules who had come to steal the dog so what they start doing they start becoming angry with the dionysus then what this dionysus does for the third time again he exchanges the clothes so after after this aqs comes back and what the xanthus tells whatever your anger is you take on my servant my slave dionysus and how much ever you want you can torture him so what this aqs do he takes dionysus and xanthus to pluto the head or the king of hades he is is a what do you say caretaker of hades so there dionysus reveals his identity he tells that see i am dionysus i am not hercules i am the theater of god and wine so i have come here to take back euripides why because after his death after aeschylus death after sophocles death greek tragedy is suffering a lot so i want to take him back and there he also learns that there is a contest there is a competition between euripides and aeschylus as to see who is the best tragic poet and it and it is decided by pluto that dionysus will become the judge so what happens in the competition in the competition many quotes are uh, quoted many verses from their plays are quoted and euripides insults aeschylus and aeschylus insults euripides so this goes on for a while then now euripides tells that his characters are better compared to aeschylus why because they are real to life and they are logical they are having intelligence and if you see them you feel that they are realistic characters so his characters are better aeschylus says no no my characters are more better why because they represent heroic qualities they are like heroes they are uh, much more than normal life and they are models of virtue virtue means goodness valletana good qualities sadgunagalu so that's why my characters are good he says okay then like the debate goes on for some time then it is decided that dionysus tells let us bring a weight a weighing machine and aeschylus has to speak something on some topic and he has to put the things on the weight euripides has to speak on some topic and he has to put on the weight whoever is heavier they will win okay now what euripides does he starts speaking about ship arago persuasion and maze to that to counter aeschylus speaks about a river about death and two crashed chariots and charioteers and at the end aeschylus only wins why he be wins because he wins because of the weight of the topics he is speaking so river is heavier than whatever uh, 
Euripides has spoken. So Aeschylus wins. But still Dionysus is not happy. So one last question he asks. How to save the city? Now what they answer? Euripides, he is very smart in talking. He uses many beautiful words and he gives answers. But the answers are meaningless. There is no meaning to those answers. Then Aeschylus what he does, though he uses simple words, he gives suggestions or practical advice which can be used to save the city and for the betterment of the people. So at the end, Dionysus decides that he will take Aeschylus and not Euripides. So Aeschylus is taken back uh, to life. And Aeschylus before going, he says that the best tragic poet is not Euripides, Sophocles. Till he comes back, Sophocles uh, should be regarded as the best poet of hates. So this is the short summary of uh, the frogs. I hope you liked it. If you have any doubts, you please leave in the comment box. I am going to answer it. Thank you very much.